Then, let's take a look at the hardware introduction inside of the TVS-X72XU. Please, David. Sure. I talk about there is nine uh, bay in one U, right? So, at the front side, you can see four 3.5-inch ports and also, of course, those LED indicators. And there are five 2.5-inch SSD ports inside. Mm -hmm. And that means you have more hard drive in a 1U dimension. Yes. So you can enjoy our uh, auto tiering function and SSD in 1U before sure. it's hard. Sure. Because before I mean, we have about uh, four, uh, four, uh, 3.5 inch uh, SATA ports, right? Mm -hmm. And at the real side of the 1U uh, NAS, you can see we offer one low profile PCI slot. That means you can install some expansion card mm -hmm. with the, uh, this, uh, in this PCI slot. And we also offer two 10 gigabit <coughs> SFP Plus port, mm -hmm. that is the SFP Plus uh, interface, and this is powered by the Mel Max, and two gigabit uh, RJ45 Ethernet port. And uh, there is one HDMI port 2.08. Of course, a lot of USB port. Uh, some of them are USB 3.0, that is 5P, mm -hmm. and some of them are USB the one gen 2 that is 10 usb ports yes okay, this is the uh, 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 <laughs> simple guide guide you to install the internal 2.5 inch ssd yes it's pretty easy just five step Re uh, remove the top cover and take out the hard drive tray and install everything and mm -hmm. put everything back and just screw it up yes just five steps This is for the 2U and 3U, the front view. Mm -hmm. And the difference is hard drive tray. Uh, please be aware about this part. And uh, for the 2U, they share the same hard drive tray. So you can uh, plug out the tray from the 1272X and insert it into the uh, A72X, no problem. But uh, not for the 1672 and 2472. So they are, they are different tray. Uh, be, uh, be aware of this part. Sure. At the real side of the, uh, oh, this is the front view. We, we still have in, uh, LED indicators, but it, has, uh, it is located at the uh, right side. It's uh, uh, also the power button LED in indicators all over there. Mm -hmm. And the real side of the uh, X72XU for 2U, 3U, 4U, uh, you can see more PCI slots. We have four PCI slots for uh, 2U and 3U and five PCI slots for the 4U. Mm -hmm. Still, we offer two uh, 10 gigabit port, but it's in one of the PCI slots. Mm -hmm. So that is an, uh, just like a 10 gig adapter, and we install that into the one of the PCI slots. And the difference between uh, one U is uh, there are uh, four gigabit ports. For one U, we offer only two, but for two, three, four U, we offer four. And also the USB port, they are all USB 3.1 Gen 2 10 gig ports. Since we have a lot of PCI slots, so you can leverage those PCI slots to do a lot of kinds of expansion, mm -hmm. no matter the network expansion, or you want to have uh, our QM to us the SSD cache or uh, hearing, there is no problem with those uh, PCI slots. Of course. Um, the PCI slot uh, dimension is different from the, uh, a little bit different, okay? For 1U2, uh, it supports only low profile, mm -hmm. it's just shorter. And for 3U, 4U, we support full high uh, uh, PCI adapter. So when you choose your PCI ad adapter, please, please be uh, careful about this part. If you are only uh, just like a 1U or 2U, uh, make sure your PCI adapter is low, low profile. profile. Oh. Okay. This is the PCI slot uh, sequence for the uh, 2U, 3U. From right side to the left side, number one, two, three, four. Sure. And the bandwidth is a little bit different uh, for each PCI slot. Mm -hmm. In this diagram, there is a CPU and PCH, which is just like a south bridge. And there is a tunnel, we call that as DMI, that is the communication between the CPU and slot number two, three, four comes from the CPU side, 
and uh, slot number one comes from the PCH. Mm -hmm. And there are also a lot of hard drives that, uh, which is connected to the, the PCH. So uh, we, we want to give sufficient bandwidth for the uh, hard drives. So PCI slot supports only PCI Gen 2. Mm -hmm. And for those uh, slots connected to the CPU support uh, PCI Gen 3. Okay. So if you have high speed expansion card, just like uh, or SAS, install those adapters into PCI slot number two, three, four. Okay. Yeah. And this is the slot sequence for the 4U, still from, from right side to the uh, left side, number one, two, three, four, five. Mm -hmm. We have similar design for the 4U as well. And PCI slot number two and four, they are for high speed expansion card. And PCI slot number one, three, five is for low speed uh, okay. just like for USB. Okay. And this is the dimension for each model, because some of the GPU cards they are quite um, like a double wide, uh, pretty. Uh, density is pretty long, right? Mm -hmm. it's like a three hundred uh, millimeter. So before you purchasing uh, the GPU card. Please refer this table. Uh, make sure the mm -hmm. dimension is fit for your NAS model. Mm -hmm. All the S seventy two X U series support up to uh, sixty four gigabyte memory, and it's dual channel and uh, two DIMM per channel, mm -hmm. so support up to four DIMMs. Uh, please make sure um, because it's dual channel. Make make sure you you uh, you join the memory in pair. The, the advantage of the dual channel. If you want to install only one DIMM, and make sure you install this DIMM in the A0 slot. Mm -hmm. That is the blue one, we have a yellow arrow mm -hmm. there. Yeah. If you want to install two memory modules, uh, install them into the A0 and the B0 slots. As usual, QNAP always offer the memory accessories in case you, you don't have enough memory, you want mm -hmm. to upgrade your memory. Yeah. So this is the ordering information for all our customers. Uh, no matter the X72XU or uh, X83 or X77, actually many many of our QNAP uh, um, Redbound NAS, leverage the same toolless rail key. Mm -hmm. now, and the same, uh, this tool key are pretty useful for IT administrators. Like uh, you can think about this. You want to uh, upgrade or install memory or install PCI slots. And with this powerful uh, tool is uh, real case, you don't have to take out the NAS from the rack mount and put them on the ground. Mm -hmm. Just pull out the whole rack mount, remove the top cover. You can easily upgrade the memory or install those PCI slots. That's good. Uh,